Hey everybody, so I just figured out how to get things rolling in Stalker Gamma, or whatever they call it. A lot of people seem to call it Stalker Anomaly, because it's almost impossible to wiki anything about this game online, but uh, I finally figured out how to get things going and I wanted to share with you guys a little bit about how to repair your weapons in your armor in such a way that makes it clear for the very, very new player. As I just started playing and uh, just barely figured it out for myself. So, so I'm going to break it down real quick, exactly what you need and how to go about getting it. So the first thing you're going to want to get your hands on is this. It's a basic toolkit. So the basic toolkit is going to allow you to do what you're going to have to pay the mechanics a thousand rubles to use their workbench to do otherwise. So it lets you craft and do all the modifications and stuff for your weapons. And what's really important is that it lets you build all the toolkits that you need, especially this one, the army rifle repair kit. This is what you need to repair all the assault rifles and stuff, basically. So it's very simple, even though it doesn't seem it. And a lot, I, I didn't really understand it from the other videos, but basically when you first start the game, whatever faction you pick, you're going to want to start to do quests for that faction. And it doesn't have to be main story quests and it doesn't have to be just the quests with, with the important people, but uh, anybody that belongs to the faction that you're a part of, if you do quests for them, you gain goodwill. And if you go in your PDA here, and if we look here, uh, my faction's military. So all the quests that I've done, I've got 1297 goodwill. And uh, what that actually does is it levels up the vendors and stuff to give you better parts to buy for this stuff. But besides that, what it'll do is as you complete quests and you get that goodwill, some of the quest rewards and some of the kills you get the PDAs that drop off them and stuff, they'll give you stash locations. Now, any of the stash locations you get can have one of these basic toolkits in them. So to get one of these starting off, you really just want to bank on the idea of doing quests for your faction until you get a stash location. And then you go to the stash location and you hope that one of these basic toolkits is inside of it. Okay. Now, when you get a stash location as reward, it can either be a white, green, or purple stash location on the map. A white marker means that it can be anything, but a green marker always has a toolkit inside of it. And I haven't even seen a purple one yet, but I think I need it because I need the expert toolkit next. And it's probably in the purples most likely, but I don't know yet. So anyways, now that you've got a basic toolkit, what's next? Well, a basic toolkit doesn't really do that much for you, to be quite honest with you, because you're going to figure out that eventually you're going to get to the point where you have all you have this plus all the other repair items for this, for the weapon, and you're going to be able to repair it all, but not the barrel, right? So I'm not going to touch into how to repair the individual parts of a weapon. It's very simple and easy, and you're going to figure it out probably on accident. We're here to talk about the toolkits and stuff, the real roadblocks to progression. So anyways, once you look at the toolkit and stuff, you will notice that uh, you can't fix barrels without the army rifle kit. So how you get that is if you go to the advanced toolkit in here at a workbench or in one of your tool sets, You'll see here, this is the recipe to craft it. You don't, well, if you give them away to the, to the traders and stuff, you do lose them and stuff, but these don't really get consumed. So the, these are pretty permanent transactions here. But the, anyways, the downside to this is you need to get five basic tool sets, five basic toolkits. So that means you, you need to run a lot of missions or you you can do at, at a at Yaton 
at the research institute or whatever spirit the trader he tr he gives you one basic tool for every eight red vodka and that's how i got my last three <clears throat> the other two were from stashes so anyways and you can get five metallic scrap from dismantling a uh a shovel that you can buy so yeah after you do that after you get five basic tools and the scrap you want to craft it and you're going to get advanced tools now once you get advanced tools you could use it to craft this i guess five of these right that's not a bad deal, but it is because what you actually want to do at that point is you want to take these advanced tools to your trader mechanic. So whatever, whatever trader is the mechanic for your faction and you want to donate to, you want to donate these to him to complete his quest. And you want to have done the same thing beforehand with the basic tools, but everyone knows that. And what that's going to do is it's going to actually upgrade him to sell you these and these so it's quite good in that way um yeah and that's about that so you just want to start doing faction quests you get the basic tools then with the basic tools you want to get five total to craft it into an advanced tools and then the advanced tool you turn into your faction to unlock the army rifle repair kit all right well that about sums it up guys for weapons uh, real quick, we can talk about armor because armor is very simple. Armor, you want to look for armor that has components that are above like 50% when you kill someone. And then you want to take, you want to disassemble the armor, take the components that aren't broken and then repair them with sewing kits. And uh, then you reinstall them at a workbench, basically. And it brings the whole thing back up to 100%. It's pretty simple. Once you figure out how to do a gun, you'll know how to fix a shirt. Right. All right, guys. Stay free.